bit of disappointment here. To, you know, how, how disappointing is it not to uh, not get out there today? Yeah, it's obviously disappointing, um, particularly being a Brisbane local. It would have been nice to get out on um, my home ground and um, play this warm-up game against the West Indies. But um, I guess fortunately for us, we obviously had the tri-series leading into this, so um, we're not too concerned in terms of missing out on, on an extra warm-up game. Um, but yeah, the girls are still working hard. We'll be heading into the nets now and um, yeah, get ready for, for our game in Adelaide. Yes. Yeah, and obviously, you know, the form you've been in, you kind of don't need any more overs, do you? <laughs> Uh, no, in all honesty, it's always enjoyable and always nice to get out there every opportunity you can get. And um, yeah, obviously a nice game the other day, but T20 cricket can be a pretty fickle game. So um, one day you could be on top of the world, the next day you could be brought right back down to earth. So um, yeah, it's nice. I feel in a, some good rhythm at the moment with the ball and hopefully that can continue throughout the World Cup. A bit of rain around, obviously end of season. How will you assess the surfaces that you'll be playing on in the next few weeks? Uh, yeah, well, I'm not entirely sure how, what the weather's been like in other um, states, but um, yeah, obviously here and across the country there's been a lot of bushfires, so the rain's definitely welcomed. Um, and yeah, in terms of how it's going to impact pitches and whatnot, there's some incredible ground staff across the country, and I'm sure the, the wickets will be um, just as good as they, they ever have been. So yeah, looking, looking at a lot of runs probably being scored, which isn't necessarily nice as a bowler. Obviously, a very strong spin group in the squad. Is it the strongest that you've had in your time and potentially ever for Australia? Uh, yeah, it is pretty strong, but we've had uh, some world class spinners over the, the years. Obviously, Shelly Nitschke, who's part of our support staff now, and um, Lisa Staleka, there's some incredible greats of the game. And um, yeah, we've got a really good group at the moment and um, very versatile. We've got so many people that can bowl in different positions within the game and, and do something slightly different which is always an added advantage. So you still get to train indoors today, what are you trying to get out of those sessions? Oh I think it's trying to get a bit of everything, I guess you you can sort of get um, a lot of consistency um, in the nets and you sort of have I guess a bit of freedom of expression in there a little bit as well so um, I think people will just be looking to, to try and expand their game, potentially do different things across each net. Um, and yeah, sort of keep it short and sharp and make sure everyone's ready to go for Adelaide. Yeah, it's a, almost a, a benefit as well as a disappointment of missing the practice game, but a little bit of benefit that the team can sort of take a deep breath, have a bit of a quieter day and then go to Adelaide. Yeah, in a way, I think um, everyone's really chomping at the bit to get out on the, on the park, even though we've had the tri-series, I think we've sort of built really nicely through that. And um, I think everyone's, yeah, just looking forward to getting out there. And you can tell now that we're right into the the tournament phase because um, yeah, everything's just sort of ramped up um, straight away and um, it's incredibly exciting. There's so much going on, so much hype around and um, I think any opportunity we can get to get out on the park, um, everyone would be jumping at, but um, yeah, unfortunately not to be today. Was it nice to have some fans still turn up and get some autographs today? Yeah, it was and I think that's probably the most disappointing thing about it that um, it's probably, well this was the only game that we were going to be playing here in Brisbane and um, yeah, being a local, um, we have some of the best fans here in Brisbane and um, yeah, to still be able to get a few of the kids coming along this morning and, and getting um, some autographs is really special for them and um, yeah, it would have been really nice to get out there today but yeah, thankfully there was still an opportunity for them to, to come and say hi. Uh, Jess, you know, I know you said it's a tiny bit of a disappointment but having covered a, a number of these tournaments, the fact that We've got to a position now where this is potentially, we don't know in high numbers, but potentially going to be, for a warm-up game, there's going to be a sellout. And then even when we knew the game wasn't happening 24 hours ago, the fact that fans still turned up and they were like, don't care, there's no game. We want to come and see the girls that we support, that we love. Like, just how much have you seen the team, uh, the sport grow? And also, what does it mean to you that we've still got these fans turning up? Yeah, well, it's incredible. I think um, the... WBBL has been sort of paving the way over the last few years with that and um, we've had sold out games for that and um, like I said before Brisbane has some of the best fans going around um, for women's cricket and um, yeah it's, it's exciting to, to see that people are still showing up and, and wanting to, to come and say hi and meet us as, as players and um, yeah I'm just it's just a shame that we couldn't get out there on the field and, and showcase what we can do and um, Hopefully, uh, next time we can get out on the field. Like, I know the groundies work um, tirelessly, and um, yeah, it's just a shame. I feel for them a little bit as well that they've had a lot of 
lot of matches out there and um, it's a very good cricket wicket and a, and a really good field. So, um, yeah, it's just a shame we couldn't get out there. Um, and, you know, this team in particular have been on a, on a particular high for the last 18 months, winning that 2018, starting with that 2018 um, World T20 uh, with the Women's Ashes last year, just having won this tri-series. Does word pressure come into anyone's mindset in the team? Um, not that I'm aware of. I think um, we've spoke. It's something we've spoken about for sure. Obviously, you've got um, such a massive tournament on, on your home soil, and um, there's always the the added pressure, I guess, from um, or perceived pressure. I think in terms of having your f friends and family there, and you've also got the media attention as well. And um, you're sort of not exactly in the same sort of bubble that you would be if you're in another country on a different time zone. So it's definitely something we've spoken about. But I think. For us, it's a matter of trying to embrace um, all that extra, I guess, perceived pressure that that's sort of placed on a, on a home nation. And there's Sorry, a 50. Yeah, uh, uh, last two. Jump in. Um, from a, a scheduling perspective, you're playing much more than ever before, including with the WBBL, considering it's a high-focus tournament. You want your best players available, etc. From an SNC side of things, what's changed that's allowed you to maintain a good standard of fitness? throughout this kind of a schedule, has something changed and also culturally playing so much more, being in the team environment a lot more, less, smaller breaks, what's changed? Oh, well, I think it's sort of just been built up over a number of years, it hasn't really sort of been just one year out of the blue that things have sort of um, changed or improved and I think for us obviously having a, a tighter schedule that there's a lot more time dedicated to your strength and conditioning and um, we have a significant amount of extra camps that come on now and um, I think players are just starting to understand I guess what it takes to be part of a prof fully professional sport and um, I guess we're fortunate enough in Australia that we've been able to, to be professional um, for a couple of years now and um, yeah it's only going to get busier I'm sure and um, it's an exciting time to be part of women's cricket, that's for sure.